Right, it's quarter to one. We're doing quite well. It's not what I call a massive walk today. Um, we've, just had, we've just had a break. Water, banana and chocolate under the shade of this tree. Just been talking to a few sheepies. They all look hot and bothered. They've got plenty of grass to eat. They haven't been sheared yet. I expect they might. I, I presume they'll shear them. Because, you know, it must be really hot for them. Anyway, I was just trying to decide what to do now, whether... Um, well, what I've decided, I'm not going to go walking down Canada Coombe. I've decided to go through the bridle path. And then when I get to the end of the bridle path, onto the Roman road, that's when I'm going to decide what to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just take some more pictures of these sheepies. Yeah, it's beautiful, eh? You're all nice and cool there under that tree, aren't you? Eh? You're all a bit busy eating the grass. Eh? Gorgeous. You all look a bit scrawny though, don't you? See you later. See you later. I expect I'll need the battery charger on soon. So I'm walking up the path. I didn't go right down the hill as stated on the previous video because it seemed to me the bluebells had faded down there. There was much bigger display in the plantation itself, which I did manage to capture. So I've left the keeper's cottage. Like I said, it used to be more oldie-worldie in the past, but it's been done up, rendered, old with some of the original windows removed. And uh, I think it looked better. I liked it how it was, actually, before. It looked more oldie-worldie. I liked it like that. But for protection and keeping it, protecting it um, I guess you just got it's better than not but better than letting it rot isn't it so we'll be going down another big wibbly wobbly track in a minute and then we're going to turn off down this old bridle path which is pretty I do like doing it hold on something coming Let me just cross over this side and get out the way over here so we can get past. That's it. All right. I kept the camera rolling. See? You get a lot of these big 4x4 four four farmers out here. Yeah, I want to do Hutton Wood. So what I thought, and I want to do the bridle path. So what I thought is, I'll do the bridle path. Look at that view. Like I say, I'll be up Crook's Peak next couple of weeks. Um, and then I'm going to go walk down the Roman road, downhill, quite steep hill. And I'm going to walk through Hutton Wood. Wait, wait a minute. Let me just wait and let's pick these people go by. That's that. Must be something going on. There's a lot of vehicles going along here. That's four vehicles I've seen. And some I can be out here sometimes. You never see one, ever. I'm videoing it because I don't video it very often. I don't video it very often, so, and it won't get videoed now again this year. Once I've done it, I won't video it again. 
I might, if I was to come down here again, which I can't say I will this year, not down here, I might take the odd photo. Look at them there. I'm going to turn off. Right, we're at the junction point, leaving this gorgeous place. Wavery Down, right over there, not far from Crook's Peak, on the Mendip Hills. And then if I, that's the West Mendip Way, which I will be doing in a couple of weeks time, or even next week, I don't know, when I want to go and climb Crook's Peak. And then down this way, it's still the West Mendip Way by the way, I'll be picking up a bridle path down the bottom of this wibbly wobbly track. I'm walking through a bridle, pretty bridle path. It could be very muddy still. Any experience of what we saw in the plantation, it could actually be boggy in places. And uh, it hadn't, a, I mean, it's going to rain again tomorrow. So it won't, it doesn't always get a chance to drain. But it's a beautiful view, this, isn't it? It's a beautiful view. I've been coming here for years, so always on my own. I don't think I've ever walked here with anybody. Oh, apart from uh, the army cadets. 30 years ago. Maybe 40 years. I can't remember now. No, 30. Um, and the nurses. I When we did uh, West Mendit Way, we didn't actually come up this bit. Or oh, did we? We might have done, actually. I can't remember now. But anyway... I'm a solo walker and I don't mind being and I don't want to feel bad about saying I'm a solo walker. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't want to go off with a herd with clickety click people. They can think people start labelling you, oh she walks alone. Do you know what I mean? What is she doing on her own? I have been accused of all sorts of things. It's amazing. The filth in people's minds. I do I found walking as a way of helping me, like running used to do. And I used to run. Someone would say jog, but it was running to me. Okay, it was running to me. And I found an inner self. It helped me cope with certain situations in my life. And the same with the walking now, because I can't, I don't want to run anymore. I don't actually think it's good for you all the time and your joints. Um, I like walking, I like doing photos, I like the beauty of nature. I tell people this all the time. And I've noticed since more walking has been promoted more and more for people, and sometimes women don't feel safe going out on their own, I understand that. Because when I first took up running, I went with the Avon ladies, they were called. We met, we were all strangers when we met. And we ran together for safety reasons in Reading before I joined the jogger, the Reading joggers. And um, I understand that. And I did enjoy that group experience. I'm not really antisocial. It's just I don't mind going out on my own. And I actually like the peace, if you like. When I walk with others, I'm more... <sighs> reserved I don't I'm I just really follow them you know I might take them on a walk but I'm not really I let them decide them I have to slow them down sometimes they're too young for me and fast and I can tell that they really want to go quicker so from that point of view you know I tend to walk alone and I see these groups of people my age going off with their sticks, clickety clicks, I call them. I see them going off. And they, they're like marching. And I think, well, they're not, are they looking? No one's taking any photos. Right, we've got this, um, Looks wider than usual, actually. Maybe they have widened it and filled in some of the big, thick holes. Maybe. We'll find out when we get a bit further up. You can still see it's quite a damp area because it's protected from the sun here. 
and I've discovered all this on my own on my walks. Like I said, I first done this this through here when I was with the army cadets when we did the big walk from Weston to Wells, 22 miles in army gear and carrying stuff. I never sure didn't I was fit as a fiddle back then. You know, we had to wear army boots and everything. We didn't we had to walk like that. But like I said I was I was fit then, I wasn't I never had I hadn't smoked for sixteen years. My lungs were good. I was fit because I'd just been doing marathon running. And uh, I never struggled at all climbing Crook's Peak or nothing. Not one. Never had asthma. Asthma came later. I mean, when I got the asthma, first of all, they thought it was COPD. And then they decided, no, it was a, more like allergic asthma. Because <sighs> asthma is a, a response to an allergy, you see. So I didn't really get asthma until I was in my 60s. <sighs> So if you think you're safe when you're 45, you don't know what's coming. Over and out for a minute.